It's another beautiful Sunday afternoon. This is Robin Minds. Welcome. My name is Ebuka Obuchi, and thanks for joining us. Uh, Barakat Salah, Happy Eid al Fitr to all Nigerians, especially, of course, our Muslim brothers and sisters. Uh, it's been a long Ramadan season, and uh, thankfully, I'm sure a lot of people are feeling renewed and refreshed spiritually. Um, I hope we all got took time out to pray for Nigeria. I know we do that a lot, but I mean, I know that we can never have enough of that. Um, Nigeria is going through quite interesting times, and uh, we need all the prayers that we can get. So hopefully our Muslim brothers uh, did uh, help us with some of that. And talking about tr interesting times, it's day 50. 50 days since President Muhammad Buhari left the country um, to go uh, for medical attention in, in the United Kingdom. And... Um, a lot of us still don't know what exactly is wrong with him. We don't know what the illness is. We don't know who's taking care of the bills. We don't know how well he's doing, if, it's, if he's getting better, if his health is regressing. There's just no information with regards to what Mr. President is going through right now. And it's very troubling, and it's very bizarre for a lot of us. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Nobody says people can't fall ill. It's, 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 it comes with life. But I think it's only fair that if Nigerians did vote Mr. President in, in the way that they did, uh, we have a right to know. And I think it's very troubling for a lot of us that at this stage we still have no idea what, what is wrong with Mr. President or how well he's doing. No pictures, no press releases. We did hear that he sent a, a Salah message today. Uh, we don't know if he <laughs> voiced it or if he wrote it or if it was uh, from one of his media assistants. But it's just... It's just very strange for a lot of us, and um, especially knowing what happened in 2010 when we had uh, President Yaradra. We almost go through a similar s s scenario and all of the uproar that came with it, and the opposition at the time was very vocal about it. They are in power now and would have expected some difference. Unfortunately, we're not getting that, and we don't know how to deal with this. But like most Nigerians, we just want to wish Mr. President well. Hopefully, he does come back soon enough to face... Uh, and the task that he was elected to face. Um, he has roughly two years. Most people say less than a year even because elections are going to swing into gear very soon. Uh, we've already started seeing some campaign posters in parts of Nigeria. And um, once election season starts, governance, you know, takes the back seat. And um, get well, Mr. President, uh, hopefully we get back. We have you back in our shows very soon. Uh, speaking of prayer, speaking of Salah, speaking of uh, <laughs> Nigeria, if you are Nigerian, I want to believe you must have heard about the Hallelujah Challenge at some point in the last couple of weeks. Um, there's, it's this thing, for those of you who are not so young at heart, <laughs> is this thing that's taking social media by storm. And um, started by uh, Nathaniel Bassi, who's a pastor, who's a gospel singer, an artist, and um, he has an, an hour-long live praise worship session on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, people across the world tune in to, to join in this. And it's gotten quite some attention. Uh, numbers ranging oh, close to 70,000 viewers, I think, at some point. And um, a lot of people have been wondering if that is the route to go. So there's been a debate as well with, with, with it. And um, uh, <laughs> he's gotten the attention of massive media, media houses from CNN to so channels, of course. And... Um, we want to talk about that today to see what we can find out if this is the way to go. Is worshipping God via social media uh, a valid way of worshipping? Is it uh, something we should be debating even? There are people who have said, oh, is prayers all we do in Nigeria. How about we actually work? I have here with me, Adeni Kel Yesunde at OAP, on air personality with Nigeria Info. Thanks for being here today. Thank you so much. For and of course, Kemi Ajumobi uh, from Business Day. Thanks for coming. Hi, Ibuka. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> have, you, have you tuned in every day? Not every day. <laughs> okay. But um, interestingly enough, it started um, last month okay. with a, there was a tongue challenge where we were speaking in tongues okay. for one hour. But um, after the expiration of that, then the Hallelujah Challenge started on the first of this month, which is primarily worship, praise, and I personally joined on the eighth day. But I haven't been consistent with every Sunday I wake up, I'm half yeah. a sleeper. But overall, from days I, had, I started um, to join, I think um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think about 60% or 6%. Okay. Why do you think it has been successful? Because, I mean, it's probably the most viewed live thing on Instagram these days, anywhere in the world. I mean, the numbers are crazy. I think it was two or three nights ago, I said, okay, I was going to try and be the first to tune in. <laughs> and when did. I went, I kept <laughs> refreshing, <laughs> and I went in and literally... The moment you just... Ten seconds later, like, there like were like 11,000 people. So already. It's, it's, 
crazy. Yesterday or two days ago, he didn't tune in on time. There were about eight, we're minutes, about eight minutes messages, late. Yes. And the yes. messages, people were like going yes. crazy. I'm like, what is, what is this thing? Why has it been so popular? I think it's been popular because the person behind the vision is not seeing it as his program. Um, like I, I sent a message to him sometime ago and I said to him, but Nathaniel, when you sang the song, Take Your Stage, Lord, Have Your Way, I'm Just a Vessel, Nothing More. Um, you were telling God that you were ready, and you didn't even know you were even doing that. His album is called Revival Flames, and um, what's happening now is a revival. Um, people who know Nathaniel Bassiwell knows that um, he's not someone who will sit down and say, okay, I'm going to be popular now, so let me look for the song that will hit. And, you know, he was just, as he was led, so he started the, the tongue challenge, and for me, that was an amazing one for me. I just came back into the country because I wasn't feeling fine. I went for treatment, and um, God did a miracle in my life. Um, he gave me the opportunity to be alive again. So I was like, God, how can I thank you? I mean, what do I need to do? I need to know you more. I need to let people understand what you have done for me. And then the tongue challenge started. And I, you know, I started with them on the first day and I went through to the 30th day. And I was like, thank God I was part of this. It was refreshing for me. And then it was like, is that all? 30 days already over? I mean, can we have something else, please? And the Hallelujah challenge started. And it's just a way of giving thanks to God for one hour. Just one no matter where you are, if you could like be driving, be in your house, be cooking, be serving your husband, taking care of your children, whatever you're doing, once it's 12 a.m., just stop and give thanks to God. It's nothing, no grammar, no stress. Talk to your maker the way he created you and give him thanks. Yeah. So that's what it is about, and I'm happy I'm part of it. There's people who have said oh, it's, it's, it's taking away from the core of what christianity should be what is the like we're, we're now trying to make it cool is what there anything is, wrong with making christianity 